everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Mango's Bowl Wild Madness, and we have a new game to try out today. It is called Heroes of Crown Legend, and as we can see, there's a little AFK window here, which means we're going to get a ton of rewards for not being logged into the game. So let's just claim those, because we're going to want to use those in a second. And there's a ton of cool things about this game. One of the most important is all the heroes possess rich backstories that encompass multiple civilizations myths legends historical figures cybernetic elements even um stuff like anubis valkyries radiant emperor fallen angels this video is sponsored and you can download hero of crown legends in the link description down there below for free on android and ios and remember the faster you get into there the faster you start getting all those afk rewards as well okay so this game loves giving you out draws so we've got a thousand free draws here apparently and we just need to get these here and we've got 30 already so let's do a bit of pulls it's recruit hero time and we have enough for 30 i want one more five star i don't know how rare they are in this game but i do know this little dragon thingy needs to bring me back one and we got one we got one and it's new too. Night is Ooh, Tigra. Everything will be engulfed in darkness. Ariel, the ancient warlock. Nice. I'm gonna add her to my team for sure. Right next to Artemis. Can we get more? We can. Friends of justice, time to show up. Wandering Knight Lada. Okay, and now I think we have a bunch of mages and a tank. So we're doing okay. One more ten pull here. And we got two! Let's dance Eris, the, the Endless Storm. Okay, I like her. And who's the other? No one wants to leave home. Oh, it's a Naga! Halberd of Exile, Sara. Wow, that was a good pull session. Or maybe this game just is very generous with five-star heroes. Either way, um, with that many recruits, you're going to have a lot, right? Because... That is, I can't remember how many recruits that was. I don't know why I can't remember because it's a flipping thousand. Okay, let's get back into powering them up. And to power them up is pretty simple here. I'm not sure how many resources I have, but I have too many people on my team. So I'm definitely building her up because I feel like I need a tank of sorts. It looks like they have skins too. So we can just spam the level up button here and uh boost her up as far as we can go my other characters are 40 and 50 so we're out of this purple thing now i don't know what that is but i need to find some more of them let's throw them into combat here the combat is like a little different each stage you're in one i was on a boat and now i'm running through planes of sorts so um it'll change depending on like how far you were into the story. And you can see my team here. I've got a tidal wave. I've got my AOE damage. Um, the phantom sniper there, every time it gets a finishing blow, it will use it again. So you can AOE them down to pretty low and then spam your attack and it'll kill like everything at once. Like it's its own AOE. Um, I'm not sure what my tanker does yet. Just like a shockwave frontal. Uh, looks like there's a lot of AoE in the heroes I got, so I'm pretty lucky there. See? Look at how she got the two kills and then went again. Reviving, like, that's gonna help for my team. I've been playing for a few days already, and I want to take a look at my team because I'm pretty proud of them. First is Ariel. Not the Ariel I'm used to seeing, but this is an Ancient Warlock. She's an AoE burn damage style character. Tons of fire going on there, and every time she goes into battle, she just explodes everything on the screen we also have camellia lord of artemis and this is my favorite one i think because when lords of artemis goes into battle she'll actually one shot everything that was aoe so you aoe them down at half hp and then whenever she gets a killing blow she goes again so she'll just take everything out one by one by one it's super satisfying to see her go in there and just snipe everything off that my AoE damage dealers kind of got a little bit low. Speaking of AoE damage dealers, there's a few more in here too, but this one is my buffer. This is Sarah, the halberd 
of exile i had to have a naga in there as soon as i summoned her i was like yeah let's get her in there there's tons of stuff she does here damage increase as well as uh other buffs we've got slow as well so just a utility character to have on your team and then we have my tank of sorts called lot of the watery knight and she basically just kind of stands up front and does some little whirlwind actions doesn't do as much damage as the others yet but she is in front and uh, i'm not sure if the front person takes more damage but she's there in that spot and she does all whirlwinds and again what happens after you do a bunch of aoe we have my single target artemis killing everything in one turn my and is true with the there's actually one more i have but i didn't use this one but i'm a little sad i didn't but this is endless Let's storm Eurus. this storm. is one of my five stars that i pulled as well and uh one thing to note too is this game gives you a ton of pulls so you're gonna have a ton of five stars you'll have more than you know what to do with uh in this game so let's just show some battles here we can go to the adventure start challenge and we're just trying to clear our afk stages right now to get more rewards we can see i've got my tank in the front row here and we can see my aoe slow there we've got the healing reduction as well for my knight and now once they're getting a little bit lower hp we've got artemis in here who should start taking some damage Oh, she AoE'd instead. So she can AoE or she can single target, so. And my tank is the lowest on HP right now, so I assume the person in the front is the one who takes more damage, so we'll keep that in mind as well. Let's do one more here and see what happens. I want to see my Artemis do just tons of damage to everybody. That AoE slow from my Sara there, my Naga, is amazing. So I think, yeah, oh, she didn't kill. So if you saw there, if that would have killed, she would have kept going and kept machine gunning everybody down. That's why I love her so much. But once I'm getting to these harder stages that are actually doing damage, it's a little bit harder to finish them off. Like right now she could, but she AoE instead. So um, that's too bad I didn't get to show that off. That's okay. And now we can go to our heroes. And I think I liked this one the best out of all the new ones i got so we can just show you how easy it is to level up basically all of these resources are from that little afk button we press because uh i just logged in after sleeping so i should have a ton of stuff look at how far she's going up she's level 89 right now She's actually gonna ascend. Oh, I can't actually bring her higher than the level 100. But we got her to level 100 just like that. And the equipment is really interesting as well. You can hit qu quick equip, but then you can start crafting and just spam the crafting button and it upgrades the pieces of gear. We have some purple on there now as well. So I've been looking something close to my power level to fight. And I found this, this is the memory missions and you get a bunch of random four star shards. Uh, and this can be used to summon the four-star heroes, and maybe you can get higher level shards later on in the game. But we've got our team, they're all level 100 right here, and we've got our tank up in front, and we can see what we're against. 65,000 power, we're at 89,000, so we're going to win, of course, because all I do is win, question mark. And um, yeah, so let's just watch this here, because they've got a ton of AoE, but we can see once our damage actually goes in here... How many debuffs we're getting on them? Like, if we if we look at all the debuffs here, there's damage decrease, there's healing reduction, there's a slow. All those debuffs for my team work so well together. And everything's AoE, so we just slowly take them down. And I really like this because we've got our healer, we've got our support system, we've got our tank at the front who takes all the damage, but we can do our best to keep them alive. And we can notice um, this character right here with the awesome hair also does some healing and damage reduction as well so it's a pretty awesome team i think they work really well together and i've been able to use them for anything that's unlocked so far and um i'm excited to see what else is new because i got a few new characters i don't have the resources to build them yet but one thing to mention is this game 
have a free reset on your character. So I could reset one of my characters and build another one if that's what I wanted to do. But right now, I kind of like my five. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And you can download Heroes of Crown Legend in the link description below for free on Android and iOS. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.